From Upper Michigan Source, this is your Friday Night Fever on Demand for February 9th. I'm Mike Ludlum. Second week in the February always means busy hockey, and that's Winter Carnival up at Michigan Tech, and the Huskies were entertaining the Beavers of Bemidji State. Pick up the action in the first minute of the game. Joel Lesperance to Jake Lucini, and he scores his 11th of the campaign, 53 seconds in, 1-0 Michigan Tech. A little more than halfway through the period, Jordan Heller will get a wide open net off a scramble, and he puts that one home for his fourth, 1-1 after 20 minutes to the second. T.J. Rue sneaks this one past the pouch of Robbie Baydoon, and the Beavers have the lead at 10:44. A short time later, just a minute and a half or so, it is Ethan Somoza with his first of the year, and it's a 3-1 lead for Bemidji. Michigan Tech would come back about three and a half minutes later. Dylan Stamen slings one home past Michael Bitzer, but Bitzer said that would be enough. He ended up with 23 saves. Bemidji adds one more in the third to win this one, 4-2. Meanwhile, at the Barry Event Center, NMU taking on Alaska. We'll put this one in action in the second period. Ryan Black, the Darian Craighead, to Joseph Nardi, and he puts that one in to give the Wildcats a 1-0 lead. 20 seconds later, Steven Jandrick shoots. Taylor Munson ties the game with the rebound. Nothing happened in the third, so let's go to overtime. Troy Loggins coming in with the puck. Can't get it on net. Goes around, finds James Vermeulen. He gets it to Adam Rockwood. And Rockwood finds Denver Pierce for the nasty deflection and the game winner. NMU wins this one by the count of 2-1. The Wildcats almost had some great news because Alabama Huntsville had a 2-1 lead over Minnesota State with less than three minutes to go. But the Mavericks scored and then scored in overtime less than 30 seconds in. So it's 3-2 Minnesota State. NMU still has a one-point lead in the WCHA. Also in college hockey last night, St. Norbert is number two in the country for a good reason. And they took it out on Finlandia 8-1. High school hockey, Wingding, Houghton, Hancock. Pick this up in the first period. Everybody's jamming at the puck, and Bryce Randell puts it in to make it 1 0 Bulldogs. Second period now. There is going to be a missed shot. Alex Nordstrom will pick it up and put it in. And the Bulldogs are up by a pair. Still in the second, Nordstrom's getting everybody uh, all excited again. He gets the puck on, Will Steyer poked out. Not as far as the camera thought it was. The next thing you know, Peter Anderson scored to make it 3-0. However, the Gremlins scored three in the third, and Dawson McKay scored in overtime. The Gremlins win this one by the count of 4-3. Also in high school hockey at the Chelsea Public School Showcase. Grand Haven doubled up Escanaba 4-2. Marquette did the same to the host Bulldogs 4-2. Also in high school hockey, Foster Miller and Cody Roth had two goals. Three helpers for Eli Schaefer and Lance defeated Shaquamagon, Phillips, and a few other schools 6-4. Go to high school basketball, round two, Nagani and Ishpeming. Ishpeming won the first round by five a few weeks back. That's Jason Waterman, the drive, the score. 3-2 Hematites. And it took the Hematites a few minutes to get a basket, but it was a good one. Hart Holmgren on the steal and slam that tied the game at five. And the Ghani coach, Dan Waterman, called timeout so fast, couldn't even see it. Luke Skews, Jackson Sager, Drew Lindbergh at the end of the first quarter. And the Miners have a 19-12 lead. Let's move to number two. Sager leads the break. Luke Skews, also hustling, puts it up and in. 21-12 Miners, follows Skews for a minute. And it proves to be a good idea because why? Oh, he draws the charge, and they're going the other way. Took a while for the Hematites to get going in this one. Gavin Sundberg hits a floater. Start, things started to get a little bit better. But Luke Skews strikes again, lines up the three. Ooh, nothing but the bottom of the net there. He was the unsung hero for Nagani in the first half. Just before the buzzer. Hart Holmgren hits a triple. That brought Ishpeming within 30 to 24, but the Miners did not fold. They even the series at one, taking this one 57 to 50. There's plenty of excitement in terms of the boys' basketball pool. What I can tell you is Iron Mountain is number one on the Big Five side, although they had to work at it. 
Iron Mountain defeated Norway 58-53. Marcus Johnson 23 for the Mountaineers. Connor Ortman had 24 for the Knights. Nathan Beckman and David Delary combined for 45 points as Westwood turned back Manistique 61-41. Bessmer, 32 better than Watersmeet, 68-36. Griffin Revor, 26 more points for Ironwood. Red Devils, 72. The Granite Diggers, 55. They're from Mellon still. Republic Michigami over Barriga by 15, 41-26. Chassel gets past Jeffers, 48-35. Oh, a wild one in Dollar Bay. Maybe the Blue Bolts should play all their games at Michigan Tech. Dollar Bay hangs on to beat Antonagin 63-62. Ed Polakowski had 20 for the Gladiators. Another wild one at Lakeland and Hubble. Double overtime for Lance, 77-69 over the Lakes. Carter Crouch had 23 for the Lakes, but the Purple Hornets Reese Warren had 22 points, 14 rebounds, 12 assists, and 8 steals. Okay, it's double overtime, but those are still really cool numbers. West Iron County used good free throw shooting in the fourth quarter to turn back Calumet in a key Westpac battle, 49-44. to Wing Ding basketball, you have Wing Ding hockey and Wing Ding basketball between Houghton and Hancock. First quarter action for Hancock, Carson Chenoweth to Coy Anderson, 4-3. Moments later, Brad Serrard will go behind his back between his legs and puts it right down the middle. Gremlins out in front, 14 to five. Coy Anderson will find Devin Razio. Nicely done off the window. Serrard getting the ball and doing something good with it again to Sam Keskimaki. Oh, quick little pass there with the underhand. Puts that one in. Then for Houghton, George Buttvillis will get the ball over to Elliot Malesi for the triple. And Houghton goes on to post this victory, 48-31. to 31. Back to the scoreboards. Bo Kaufman had 21 for Carney Nato. Wolves over Stevenson, 71-50. Munising defeats Mid-Pen, 62-45. Terry Brower had 24 for the Wolverines. Superior Central upends Forest Park, 44-38. North Central coming into the game off a loss, and the Jets get back on track. Seven players in double figures. Griffin Johnson a career high, and 86-40 Jets over Big Bay to knock. Rudyard turns back Newberry, 70-49. Engadine, 57. Pickford, 43. Cedarville, no trouble finding their way around Detour. Brimley, 78. That should be St. Ignis, 24. It's been a rough year for the Saints. And Sault Ste. Marie defeated Sheboygan, 70-32. Wisconsin side, Krivitz Wolverines, 76, and Niagara, 30. Girls basketball, Marquette had 22 points from Avery Leedy, defeating Kingsford in overtime, 53-44. And Westwood doubled up Manistique, 52-26. College basketball, rough games for Bay College, but Silver Lake's pretty good. Lakers won the women's game, 63-48, 13 points for Norway's Jordan Kramer for the Lady Norse. On the men's side, a squeaker, but Silver Lake wins at 80 to 78. Nagani's Dre Tuminen had 22. Alfonso Fields had 21 for the Norse.